John here, and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install Forge and mods for Minecraft on a Mac computer. I, I know not all of you guys have a Mac, a lot of you guys have PC. I'll put the shortcut for PC as well on here, but there has been changes to Chrome specifically and some of the other browsers to where you're downloading, uh, when you download Forge and you download mods, it doesn't give you the option to save them. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second right now. You got Minecraft open. If you want to install anything, first thing you gotta do, you gotta you gotta close Minecraft. So unfortunately, that's gotta go. Uh, Liam's here in the room with me. He's I think he's watching. Uh, oh, he's watching some some old school Sunday actually. All right, so let's go check out our uh, our mod. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna install Forge. I, I'm gonna go to uh, go to our browser. First thing you're gonna see is Chrome, right? So um, I, I use Chrome only because it makes it easy for pop-ups and whatnot. If you guys use a different browser, that is entirely up to you. This is just my personal preference. It's safe for me. It links with my YouTube and everything else, and it makes my life a little bit easier. So here we go. So the first thing you do, you can type into the, the search box, Minecraft space Forge, and you're going to get two top tier searches. The first one is going to be this Minecraft dash downloads. Don't click that one. It's an ad. It actually downloads a piece of software on your machine that is not just simply Forge. It's got a bunch of other garbage that's attached to it. Don't touch that one. This one's trash. Tra trash download. Don't touch it. This one right here, files.minecraftforge.net, is the only one really I would I would trust. It's the only one I've ever downloaded Forge from, quite honestly. Uh, I've, I've looked at other places and I've seen it available in safer places. I don't know about safer than this, but safe places. But for the most part, it just links you back to here. So anyway... So we got all the different versions of Forge. What we don't see is version 1.13 on here yet. And I believe that they don't have a version for that yet. It looks like that's 1.12 is going to be uh, It's going to be it. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That is the latest version of Forge we have ready to go because 1.13 is still in uh, beta, I suppose. Huh. Anyway, so... You're going to see here on the left side is the latest download, and this side is going to be the download recommended. They're usually the same version, but the latest may be like, see like the, the version number over here is like 07, this one's 05. Not much of a big deal. I would go ahead and download the latest one. Um, you have two options, obviously. Windows installer, if you're going to install on Windows. And for us here on Mac, for this video video's purposes, we're going to install uh, this little tiny box looking thing. I mean, click on that. And it's going to take me to another page. Don't click anything. There's usually stuff that pops up down here, but for whatever reason, it's not. You get this giant host of Forge server up here. Don't click that. You're going to wait for that countdown to finish up. Right over here, it's going to say skip. You'll click skip. And here's the problem. Right here. It's downloading on the bottom left corner. And my it used to give me an option where it says, do you want to keep Forge? And it used to say keep or discard. Actually, it used to say keep or cancel. And now it only gives me a discard option. And if you click on this, it just says open when done. If you can't really do that, you can say show in folder and nothing comes up. It's not there. That's not my download. That's a different thing I downloaded on confirm some something. I don't know. It's not there. So I can't. My only option here is to click discard. And that's garbage. That sucks. So I'm not going to close this window yet. I'm going to leave it open for the sake of this tutorial. On the top right hand corner, you're going to either see this little arrow or you're going to see three little dots specifically for Chrome. What you want to do is you want to go into your settings, um, into my, go into my settings window. And if you're using another browser, you could do the same thing. You just have to go into your settings for that browser and it's going to open up my settings. This is all my, my wonderful settings for Chrome. I'm going to go to the bottom and hit advanced and I'm going to scroll down about... Uh, almost to the bottom here, you're going to see a, a section that's called downloads. It may be called security, um, but it's on, on mine. It's specifically called downloads. You're going to see the download location is under John slash downloads. That's where my download stuff goes, right? It's going to, this is a workaround. This is not an actual fix. It's kind of lame actually, because it, uh, what do you call it? Google hasn't fixed this for the last, it's been about four months that this issue has been happening. And this was a, an overnight quiet update to Google Chrome, uh, which is, I'm not too happy about, but I'll still continue using freaking Chrome, whatever. Anyway, so you get to go ahead and you're going to click right here. It says ask where to save each file before downloading. And this kind of bypasses that keep discard option at the bottom. So I'm going to click that and that's going to give me uh, a window to pop up. You'll see that in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and close this now that that setting is already changed. It's automatically saved. If you're using another browser, you may have to click save 
like somewhere down near the bottom or at the top. I'm not sure what it is on the other browsers, but for Chrome specifically, uh, it's automatically saved when you change the setting. I'm gonna go ahead and change that setting. And we left this window open already. If you hadn't, you're gonna have to retrace your steps uh, to get to here. Again, I'm gonna click on skip. And now it's gonna give me an option to, where do I wanna download it to? I'm gonna put it on my desktop because it's gonna make my life a little bit easier or you can stick it in your downloads folder. I'm just gonna say save. And now it won't give me that option of keep or discard. It's just gonna automatically save it. So now I can close this window. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and overwrite this window here. We're gonna to go to uh, curse. We're gonna type in the search box here. Oh, I'm typing in on my PC while my Mac is right next to me. Oops. And I'm gonna to go to this uh, mods website over here. It's minecraft.curseforge.com uh, MC mods. So if you guys are not aware, uh, curse was purchased by Twitch and then Twitch was purchased by Amazon. This is an extremely safe site. Reason being is that Amazon doesn't want you to have viruses, so they're not going to have any on their web pages. So it's gonna be a fairly, actually gonna be an extremely safe place. I would say probably one of the safest places to download mods from on the internet. Only because you have a company like Amazon that would not want the backlash of messing up people's computers. Hope you're following along, because I don't know if I am. Anyway, so so now we're gonna go and uh, we'll worry about mods in just a second. Let's go ahead and install Forge now. We're gonna go ahead and minimize this window since we got to the website we want to. And then on the desktop here we have, there's our Forge. You can, wherever, whatever folder you happen to put it in, that's where it's gonna be. So mine is on my desktop. I'm gonna simply uh, double click that and it's gonna open up this. It's gonna say, you can't open because it's from an unidentified uh, developer. I'm gonna say, okay, no problem. So I'm gonna go down here to my, my bar, my hot bar at the bottom. I'm gonna click on system preferences. System preferences, I'm gonna go into security, which is this house with a little vault lock, like combo lock looking thing on it. And click on that. And then at the very bottom here, it's gonna say, oh look, this is the piece of software you just tried to install. Are you sure you wanna install it? Yes or no, I'm gonna say open anyway, because again, I trust uh, Minecraft, uh, the, the Forge website that I downloaded it from. So I know I'm not gonna get my machine all messed up because of it. So I'm gonna say open, and then I'm gonna close out this window and it's gonna give me this installer. And if you wanna install a server, that's a whole different animal. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys how to install the client, which is your, your computer side uh, installation. So go ahead, I'm gonna say under client, install client, I'm gonna say okay. It's gonna do its little thing successfully installed and okay that's it it's done it whatever folder that this this uh forge docu what do you call it the jar file is located it's going to install this uh log file it's not really installed it's just going to write a log file it's basically the the installation commands that it took in, in order to uh to create all the stuff it needed to for forge for minecraft you can simply delete both of those you can say command delete and they go into your garbage can and there, there you go okay so now we have Forge in Minecraft. We can test it out just to see if it's there before we put any mods in it, so that way we know it works. So I'm gonna go launch Minecraft. I'm gonna hit launch options. I'm gonna say add new, and I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna look for my Forge version of 1.10.2, 1.12.2, which is right here. This is the latest version, 27.07. Boom. And I'm going to say, I'm going to type in the, the name. I'm going to type in Forge 1.12.2. Just so I know that it's the latest version for uh, for me. It's just so I, I can recognize it. I'm going to say save. And now I'm going to click on the Minecraft logo at the top. And I'm going to go to uh, my scroll down menu here. And I'm going to see that I did, there's my newest one. Forge 1.12.2. .2, and I'm going to say play. And this will show me whether or not it works before I put any mods in there. So the, the issue a lot of people have, um, and I've had a lot, a lot of uh, people asking me, oh my goodness, it's not working, it's not working. I ask them to please, first thing you wanna do is you wanna please remove all the mods from your folder and test it to see if Forge is actually failing before you install mods. Because if you install mods, you don't know if it's the mod or, the, or Forge that's failing. 99% of the time, it's the mod that's failing, but I always like to test it just in case. And then when you run it, you're gonna see down here on the bottom left-hand corner, you can see Minecraft running, obviously, but it's going to say powered by Forge. And that's the version we downloaded right there. That 14.23.4 point blah, blah, blah is right there. We have four mods loaded. The four mods that are actually loaded and active 
are the, the four mods that are installed by Forge in order for Forge to run. So don't worry about those. I'm going to say quit game because we're not done yet. We want to go install some mods. But if this is all you want to do, install Forge, there you go. Hope you have a hope you have a great day. But from here on, I'm going to show you guys how to install mods as well. So we're going to go ahead and open our, our browser back up. Okay, so we're going to find versions of the mods that match specifically the version of Forge we just installed. We don't want to install, like right now you can go through and you can download mods. Some of these mods are going to be for older versions of Minecraft. So don't just click on whatever. It's rated sorted by popularity. So some stuff that's really freaking old, even though it shows a newer date on it, doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be a newer version of the mod. So I'm going to click on all versions. I'm going to switch it over to 1.12.2. Bam. Now it's going to only give me mods for that version. I'm going to click on that. And it, get, it kind of gives you a bunch of information on it. If it requires additional libraries, it'll usually say so down here. It, not always, but it usually does. Uh, and then you, all you got to do is click this green button that says download at the top right hand corner. See, they made it super, super easy for you. You don't have to worry about getting like viruses and stuff. When you click this, don't click anything else. Watch this. Check it out. So I'm going to click on downloads and it's going to give me where do I want to install my, my jar file. So I'm going to go ahead and stick it on the, uh, the desktop as well. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and click save. And now it's saving to my desktop once again. Look at that. Nothing happened. Nothing changed. I didn't have to go anywhere. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Super easy. Super simple. Uh, Journey Maps, also another one of my favorites. Might as well go ahead and install it. Now, I like to install mods one at a time. However, I've installed these mods probably about 100 times at least. And I know these ones work. And I know I don't need to test them with each other. The reason why I say one at a time is because... If sometimes you download a mod, it may not work with another mod, and it'll fail. And um, so you you install one, you run Minecraft. I know it's tedious, guys, but that's just the way way it makes it easier for you later on. There's no headaches after that, and you can just play on. Um, and if it doesn't work that way, you know that that particular mod you can't use. You have to go find another one. But I know these ones work together, so I'm okay with that. I'm going to say save. Saving everything to the desktop right now just because it's going to make my life easier. I'm going to go ahead and download a few mods here. Let's go ahead and minimize that folder or that window. And now we have our four mods. They're right here on my desktop. That's where I put them. You can put them wherever you want to. I do have a, a mods folder right over here. But I'm not going to put them in there just for sake of ease to find right now. They're the only files on my desktop other than these folders, right? So now let's go ahead and put them inside the Minecraft mods folder. In order to do that on a Mac, you have to hold down the shift the command which is the it looks like the weird little flower thing right to the left of the space bar and g and then you get this little go to folder which if you don't have that opened up you can simply cancel and you can say go and scroll down over here where it says go to folder see it says shift command g bam same folder and then you're going to type in this string right here the little tildes or grave a uh, little icon to the left of the number one key, a slash library slash application space support slash Minecraft and say go. Now it's going to give you the Minecraft folder. This is the uh, application support folder for Minecraft, not the game itself. This is just where the actual stuff goes in order for the game to run, not the little icon under your applications folder. And what you want to do is you want to find this folder here, the mods folder. If the mods folder doesn't exist for whatever reason, the mods folder is automatically written when you install Forge. If it's not there, simply go to the bottom, right click and say new folder. Name that new folder M-O-D-S. Now I already have a mods folder, so I can't do that, but Minecraft and Forge will automatically know it's there. I've got nothing in it. It's a totally empty folder. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scooch this over. I'm gonna take my four mods and I'm gonna throw them in here, boom. Now let's go ahead and launch Minecraft. Fingers crossed. It should work. It should work beautifully. We're going to go ahead and say play. I love this new splash screen for uh, for Minecraft with the ocean. It's so freaking amazing. We don't have the Forge animation, which is kind of odd. Usually when Mojang, you see the Mojang logo, you see the Forge animation down here loading away. I don't see it in this one. It's really, really, uh, really strange to me. But oh well, it doesn't really matter. So now we can go to mods. We can see that all the mods actually installed. And Minecraft didn't crash. <laughs> so now I'm going to go to single player. I'll go to create new world. We'll call it high and uh, options. 
and on and say uh, cre create new world. There we go. I have uh, materials in you in my hand, and there is my uh, my just enough items on the right hand side, which is fantastic. And then my Tinker's Construct stuff is amazing. And we got our map. There's our, our uh, journey map on the right top right hand corner. Anyways, dudes, it's that simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. I try to get back to absolutely everybody. Sometimes I'm, I'm away and I take a, about a week or so longer to get, get back to you guys. But most of the time, I'm pretty much on it. And I try to get all the questions answered quickly. So, um, like I said before, dudes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to smash that like button down below. And if you're at all new to this channel, if you guys can click that subscribe button, it does help the channel out a great deal and while you're at it if you click the little bell it turns on notifications and lets you do to do that know when we upload our daily videos and until next time guys see ya yeah.